friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I am here to share. I'm in Florida. So I'm outside on my parents, visiting my parents in Florida. Central Florida. I'll just say Central Florida. And uh, so it's been a nice a day. It didn't even get too hot. It was, uh, to me, it felt good all day. It wasn't overly hot. It was a sunny day and... Uh, so I uh, enjoyed doing some thrifting this morning, and I'll show you that for another video. But yesterday, I got to meet my friend in person, Maria, from Maria's Miscellany. <clears throat> you know, she's a Florida girl, and uh, I'm from Florida. So uh, we have a lot in common as far as that goes and, you know, other things that we like to do. And so I'm going to show you. See, she, she was bringing me something, a little something. <laughs> And you know Maria, she's so generous. So um, it was so much fun meeting her. And we thrifted yes, we flea marketed yesterday, and that was a that was a lot of fun. It was so fun just to meet her and just to you know, I felt like I already met her in person, even though we had never met in person. Isn't that weird? So anyway, because we um, you know we talk and stuff on the phone or text or you know on our lives and things. So anyway, here's what she brought me. So much cool stuff. Uh, let's just get started. So uh, here is uh, some bunnies. She knows I like bunnies. Y'all probably know I like bunnies. Uh, these say shabby chic treasures, rabbits, six rabbits. And they're a little like, um, we took them out because it says metal on here. We were both like, are they metal? Are they really metal? <laughs> we took them out and decided they weren't metal, but they're super cute. You can use them like this or paint them or something, you know. You can paint them colors or you could paint them, <clears throat> you know, kind of like vintagey you know colors like a silver or a or bronze or something like that color distress whatever so we'll see what we do with those and then she brought me let's see let's see what's in this little goodie bag here um, I looked at everything with her uh, yesterday and so that was fun but uh, here's some seals for these little they're like most of these are little like you know the threefold postalette type little things that you can uh, that are vintage and uh, very cool love these type of things I don't find them very often I've only found two packages in my whole thrifting career so it was fun to get these and they're all different so oh this is a postcard here's one this is a post I'm gonna call it a postalette but there's one with an owl a fall like with a squirrel isn't that cute and here's one with a frog and I'm I love frogs I was a frog collector when I was a teenager and I still have some well I have one from when I was a teenager and I make them now oh you know once in a while I have a couple in my shop I just keep a couple in there for the other frog lovers out there you know the cute frogs we don't like real frogs but we like the cute little stuff that, you know fun frogs right like on postalettes here's a little mouse <laughs> so cute. I love this one with the mushrooms. And here's a little Woodstock one. So cute. Love peanuts. And then in here is this, she made this cute envelope. Look at this, how pretty with the sunflowers and the flowers. She sewed it with some wallpaper. I need to do that. I told her I had made other things with wallpaper, but she has a piece folded in there. See, and make it it's nice and sturdy. So it feels so sturdy. And these are all little different postcards. And they're all colorful. I love these. Green with the flower like a daisy and pink one and this purple mushroom one. So cute, right? So fun. And yep, Maria found a few goodies at the flea market yesterday, so I'm sure she'll be showing you that. Uh, she brought goodies in these two little uh, zipper pouches, which I will be, I use these for storage in my craft room and organizing sometimes just permanent storage or sometimes uh, organizing a project while I'm working on it right ephemera and stuff so what let's see I'm trying to think if I took anything out of either or I showed my mom everything when I got home <laughs> when I got home from flea marketing with Maria last night so I might have put things in a different place than Maria originally had it but here's some little bunnies like this is a little flocked bunny uh, could be vintage probably is and then it these little plastic ones could also be vintage. I know I have collect. I have a little collection of um, bunnies, like vintage little bunnies like this that I put into an Easter basket. 
and use it during uh, Easter for decoration in my house. So those are cute. And then in this fabric here, she had wrapped up this little, it's like a little cup, but I told her I was gonna use it in my craft room for like, for like holding supplies. So it's a cute little mushroom cup, isn't it cute? I love it, <laughs> and I love mushrooms, so super cute. Can't wait to get home and put that in my craft room somewhere, maybe on my craft table, so you may see it again in my videos, <laughs> probably. That would be fun to keep my scissors in there, and I could even keep a bottle of glue in there or something. So uh, let's see, I showed you all this. I'm going to try to keep this a little bit organized. Uh, she brought it all in a big tote bag, and it's very heavy, <laughs> so... Let's see, so all this goes together in that little bag. And then, let's see, she brought me this calendar. She knows I'm working on a baby book right now and I will, you know, probably will make some more. So I wanted to go ahead and show you this before I took it apart because I'm working on that here. I brought that with me to work on, a nice little baby calendar. So, and there's even some cute stickers in the back. So, I'm really enjoying the this evening's uh, nature out here in uh, my parents, this is their patio, and some birds just flew by, and uh, and an owl was hooting a minute ago, so <laughs> super cute. So here's another baby book that she brought for me. This one looks newer. Um, let's see, Our Baby, The First Five Years, cute little cover, so this can be redone. And then of course I can use the, ba the book, the pages in any you know, divide the pages among several books, journals, and let's see when it's from, actually. 1986. Wow, this is vintage. It looks, you know, of course nobody ever used it, so it looks brand new, but this is actually vintage. So super cute. And she brought me, let's see, here's some of the little seals. Let's keep those together. Um, this book is one of her favorite books of houseplants. She says she always buys it when she sees it. She had um, one, she had more than one, so she brought me one, so that was awesome. But let me show you, just to remind you if you haven't seen her, and I'll link her video, her YouTube channel below, but see how cute, I mean how pretty all the pages are here. Nice pages, and look at the, look at the flowers here. And just all the nice botanical things you can cut out, or you can use a whole page. Look at this right here. Great for little, maybe some stamp, faux postage stamps. And here's some more little flowers there. I'm sure there are more throughout. I'm just kind of flipping so this video doesn't get too long. Some charts there. So you can see why she loves it, right? So uh, maybe we can work on that together in one of our lives, doing something with these pages. So super cute. Uh, this is by Reader's Digest. And let's see what year this is. There's a note here, 1992. Someone gave it to someone as a gift in 1992. And the copyright actually says 1979. So that is awesome. Another vintage book. Let's see, I'll show you this next and then I'll show you the final thing because the final thing is the biggest thing <laughs> and it's the heaviest thing. So she got one of these for her and then she said she went got one for me. So thank you so much, Maria, for everything. I love it. I showed my parents and they were like ooing and aahing over everything. But this is super cute, a little Wonder Woman like stationary type kit. Let's see, does it actually have a name here? Deluxe stationary kit, yes. So let me open it. It opens like this. It's a super nice box, first of all. And then we, we like I said, we looked at everything together yesterday when she came. She came to pick me up at my parents' house and we went from here, flea marketing. There's a little journal in here, isn't it pretty? We thought we could redo this and make our make a junk journal out of it. So here it already has this elastic on here and these nice <clears throat> lined pages, but we would take these out and make it into a junk journal. Of course, we could use some of these pages in here. Super nice inside cover here, both front and back. So that would be fun for us both to do together to redo that. And then there's some stationery actually, you know, that you would use to write on and envelopes in here. So they all have the little Wonder Woman sign on it there. Super cool. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to use. And this is also has a wax seal in it. Let me show you right here. Two little matching wax uh, sticks. 
and then the wax seal with the Wonder Woman little ins uh, what is it insignia on there. You see that? So that would be fun. And then we discussed this um, little, it's a, like a paperweight, but we said maybe we can use it as a rubber stamp and put ink on here and see if we can make an imprint with this. Can you see that? Yes, I waited till the sun was going down to do this video because earlier the sun was all bright here and I didn't think you'd be able to see. So I think you can see pretty good now. But let me just show you some, or I don't know if I can get it all out. <laughs> Because, like I said, it's a lot. So she brought me some wallpaper. She has sent me, Maria has sent me some wallpaper in the mail before. And every piece she sends me, I just use because I love it. I love it using it. It's just so, I love the texture. And whatever you do with it, it's so cool and nice and strong. So look at how beautiful. I thought at first when I saw this, I was like, oh, you brought me some scrapbook paper. Because I hadn't touched it yet. And, and I thought, you know. I thought that was really cool, but then she told me it was wallpaper. I was like, oh my goodness, so cool. So, love it. <laughs> and my mom was ooing and aahing and thought it was so beautiful. I mean, look at this. Doesn't it look like beautiful scrapbook paper, but it's wallpaper. So that's even, you know, even stronger than, let me see, it's upside down, I think. Let me turn it over. And I won't show you every piece, but let me just maybe see if I can flip a little bit here just so pretty. Let me see if I can just flip real quick here and show you uh, a good, like, look at this one. It has a picture on it. That is, yeah, double-sided. And this might, I don't know, if this is not really wallpaper. This might be from the um, actual book, you know, like it was a book. And it might be like, it might have been the cover or something. But let me just flip here real quick and see how many pieces I can show you. And she said, you know, you know, if you know Maria and you watch her channel, you know she likes working with wallpaper. And she's got, she's come across some good deals on some wallpaper books and some wallpaper samples. And I never have. I've never seen nice wallpaper like this. I've only seen some rolls and they've never been like really great or anything. So she has just been um, fortunate to find. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Some really, oh, I love this, um, the gingham type ones like that. Here's a pretty one. All very pretty, right? Look at this. I hope you can see good. <laughs> the sun's going down here, but um, I thought it was a good time to do a video. Here's a really pretty one. They're all pretty. I mean, it looks like embossed almost uh, fabric or something. So that is one pile. Let me see if I can show you a little bit more. Uh, here's a cover of a, see, we want to talk about, this is the cover, like a hard, hard cover of a wallpaper book. And then, let's see, there's so much, but uh, let me flip through a few more, <laughs> see what I mean? But she said she kept, you know, she took out a big, good portion for me to bring to me, and then she still has plenty left, so I'm so grateful that she did decide to share some with me because I love it. I'm going to use some. I already used a piece because um, I brought my baby book project with me so I already used a piece today in there and I'm going to I'm making three signatures in there so I need to get two more pieces probably or maybe I can divide one in half probably even and put one in each of the other signatures but I'm going to make a uh, pocket and sew it. My mom using my mom's sewing machine thought about bringing mine, but I thought, you know, my mom has a sewing machine. I think I could probably just use hers. And I realized when I was using it, oh, look, Maria, there's a stamp in here. <laughs> Maria, you gave me a stamp. Cool. I bet you didn't know. Look, <laughs> this one, do you want it back? Let me know. <laughs> That's a pretty one. It's like a very, uh, you know, kind of a generic floral. That's a really cool one. If you want it back, let me know. Ooh, this is cool. It looks like wood. So here's one that looks like bricks. Oh, look at that. That's awesome, like a map. Ooh, these are cool, like a blueprint. So awesome, right, you guys? Oh my goodness, look at these. I didn't look at it. My mom was looking at every piece. I don't think I got to look at every piece last night. But look at that. So cool. Anyway, you get the idea. She gave me a lot of wallpaper. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to... Um, make a pocket like a big pocket in my baby journal that I'm working on 
and I'll have an update for you on that in the next couple of days. I am making videos this week while I'm here, doing a lot of crafting and thrifting. I went thrifting this morning, like I said. So, okay, I don't want to like you know make you buy, look at every piece, but you get the idea. She shared with me lots of goodies, and I'll be using them in my project, so you'll see them again. And so thank you for watching today. Hope everyone's having a great week, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting and happy thrifting.